Welcome to my channel about best practices in Databricks and in data engineering. Today we are going to talk about user-defined function, but user-defined function which you can register in Unity Catalog. Additionally, it will be Python functions. So it's a big step forward because before it was possible only to register data. And now you can register your own code, code which will be totally visible to business and to everyone. So let's let's get started. Uh, we will first create a function on SQL serverless warehouse. That one, yes, uh, let's start it. Uh, this uh, serverless warehouse should start in like few seconds, up to 10 probably. And what it does is creating function. It's you see how fast it was. So before we had to wait a few minutes for virtual machines to be deployed, but we serverless we use uh, one of clusters, in fact, which are already deployed and waiting for us on Databricks subscription. So here we create function. This function has, of course, name, take few parameters. Then we define that it returns string. We define the language that is Python. It's important to define language because it can be obviously SQL. With SQL, it would be faster, yes, because SQL will run fully optimized by Spark, Catalyst, and Gene. And with Python, it has to be sent to workers and executed. Uh, there is this cost related to that. Uh, so, but often there are situations that we cannot use SQL because we are handling some complicated logic or this code is not possible to, to be done in SQL. So then we use Python. So here we defined that it's language Python. Then we import math library and do some mathematical calculation, which doesn't make sense, but it's just for test. So we register already that function and we can go to catalog and see that it's there. Uh, yes, this is this function which we registered. Uh, I will make it a bit smaller. Uh, so here in catalog, everyone can see that function that it registered there. So for example, business can validate the logic really easy or other developers can find it really easy. And here we have all metadata, uh, uh, which can be even bigger because we can add comments and some additional information. And one cool thing is that there is also lineage tab. Uh, of course, it's not yet uh, here because we've just created that function, but it's a really cool feature because you can see what co code, what notebooks, what scripts are using that function. So this is like new level of coding, I could say, because you really see the flow of your code. Yes, what what was by what it was executed and how it's used. Uh, OK, so let's use actually that function. So we will back to uh, to our uh, SQL editor. Uh, we will uh, create some example table which have three fields with random integer values to create that test table is uh, SQL sequence. It's a really useful function similar to range in Python. OK, so let's create that table and let's open a new, new tab. Uh, we will we'll change catalog to our uh, UDF test. And let's here use that uh, uh, that function which we've just registered. So it was UDF uh, test function. Let's pass our three fields to that function. And from it will be our UDF, uh, our test table, test, uh, test table. Okay. 
Let's name it as a result. And now we are executing that uh, Python function on SQL warehouse. So it's really nice because now we, we are no longer limited to SQL on SQL warehouse. So let's wait for results. And here it's come. So you see it calculated for every uh, for every row it calculated our result using that uh, logic which we registered earlier and of course you can use also this function in PySpark so when you head to notebook you can just uh, read table and execute that function on uh, on that table basically uh, PySpark is API like the Tiframe API is API to SQL so we can just uh, put here expression and just put that uh, that function let's run it so so you see it's small cluster with so four CPUs so every CPU was processing a part of our table and it returned the result so i really like that solution that that functions can be registered that is totally visible i think it a big breakthrough with data like data and code governance and probably uh, there will be more evolution related to that and also this function in future, I expect that we will be handled much more faster than now uh, because plan is that they will be handled by Photon so they will be sent uh, through C++ and executed on workers. Uh, and I hope that maybe in future we also have uh, more languages because we have Python SQL, I think uh, we could have also Java or C++, yes, uh, to make some calculation on our data. Okay, so thank you and I hope to see you in my next video.